Good day everyone! This lesson is a continuation in solving for the variable in the equation. If you have not yet watched the part 1, please watch it first before this part 2 so you can fully understand the topic. Now, in the previous lesson, we discussed about the properties of equality and find for the solution of the equation following those properties. We also discussed about transposition property and it is easier for us to solve using transposition and this time, we need to deal with variables on both sides of the equation and how do we solve it. So we have here an example. We have 3x minus 2 is equal to x plus 10. So there are variables to in both sides of the equation. Now the thing to remember is to always combine the common terms or variables. And after this, isolate the variable to either the left side of the equation or to the right side. And the equation will not change as long as you follow the inverse operation. For addition, the opposite is subtraction or vice versa. And for multiplication, we have division and vice versa. So let's combine 3x and here's another x here to the other side. So we can trans transfer this x here to the left side. And since this is positive, it becomes negative. So we rearrange and this negative 2 we transfer also to the other side so that the same terms or the same variables and numbers will be combined. So we have here 3x minus x is equal to 10 plus 2. Then we can simplify. We have 3x minus x is 2x is equal to 10 plus 2 is 10. Then we can isolate this x by transposing this 2 to the other side of the equation and since this is multiplication 2 times x when we transpose it becomes divide or division so 12 divided by 2 our value of x is equal to 6 let's check if the if our answer to the solution is correct so if x is 6 6 times 3 is 18 minus 2 that is 16 and here if x is equal to 6 6 plus 10 is also equals to 16 so it's the same so our answer is correct next we have 5a plus 4 is equal to a plus 20 so again let's combine the same variable and the constant so we have 5a transfer this a to the left side and this is positive so we need to subtract so 5a minus a is equal to 20 then uh, this positive 4 when we transpose it becomes negative 4 or minus 4 we can simplify that 5 minus 1, that is 4a, is equal to 20 minus 4 is 16. Then, to isolate the variable, we need to transpose 4. Since this is multiplication, we need to divide. So, 16 divided by 4 is equal to 4. So, a is equal to 4. Let's check again. So, if this is 4, 20, so 5 times 4 is 20, plus 4 is 24. And here, a is 4 plus 20 is 24. So, our answer is correct. We have 24. Next, 3z minus 8 is equal to negative 5z plus 24. So, let's combine the like terms. We have 3z, then transpose this negative 5 to the other side. And since this is negative, we have positive 5z. That is equal to, we have 24 here, and we transfer also this negative 8 to the other side. And since this is negative here, when we transpose, it becomes positive 8. Then, simplify, we have 8z is equal to 32. Then, isolate the z on the other side by transposing 8 to the other side, then divide. So, z is equal to 4. Next, we have 4x plus 13 is equal to negative x plus 8. So, let's transpose and combine like terms. 4x, this is negative, so it becomes positive x is equal to 8. Then, transpose positive 13, it becomes minus 13. So, we have 5x, 8 minus 13, that is negative 5. So, x is equal to negative 5 divided by 5. We have x is equal to negative 5 divided by 5 is equal to negative 1. Next, we have 8x minus 12 is equal to 2x plus 6. So, combine x, 8x minus 2x since this is positive. So, when you, when you transfer 
or transpose it becomes negative. So we have here 6, then transpose this negative 12, it becomes positive 12 or plus 12. So this is 6x is equal to 18, then 6x. I mean, so x is equal to 18 divided by 6, then x is equal to 3. Next, we have 1 third u plus 9 is equal to 23. So, to simplify this, we can multiply 1 to u. So, that is u over 3 plus 9 is equal to 23. Then, we can transpose this 9 to the other side. So, we have u 3 is equal to u over 3 is equal to 23. And since this is positive, we transpose the other side, or this is addition, we transpose it to um, negative, it's become minus. So, u over 3 is equal to 14. Then, to eliminate or to isolate the u on the other side, we need to transpose this 3. And since this is division, so u divided by 3, so when we transpose, it becomes multiplication. Therefore, we have u is equal to 14 times 3 and uh, the value of u is equal to 42. Next, we have 2 third x minus 13 is equal to 11. So, we multiply first 2 times x. We have 2x over 3 minus 13 is equal to 11. So, transpose this um, negative 13 to the other side. It becomes positive. So, 2x over 3 is equal to 11 plus 13. We have 2x over 3 is equal to 24. And uh, we transpose this 3 first to the other side by multiplying. So the remaining uh, term on the other side is 2x that is equal to 24. And again, since this is division, we need to multiply 3 to the other side. So 2x is equal to 72. And transpose 2 to the other side since this is multiplication we need to uh, divide here so to eliminate or to isolate the variable so x is equal to 72 divided by 2 and x is equal to 36 last example we have 1 fourth m plus 12 is equal to 15 so we can rewrite it as m over 4 plus 12 is equal to 15 then transpose 1 by 1 so we have m divided by 4 is equal to 15 then minus 12 since this is addition we subtract to the other side and m is equal over 4 is equal to 3 then to leave m on the other side we need to transpose 4 to the other side and we need to multiply since this is division so m is equal to 3 times 4 m is equal to 12. So that's about uh, finding for the value of the variable. I hope that you understand our lesson.